Welcome ladies and gentlemen, today I want to show you a DPS test on Stamina DK with a heavy attack build on the target skeleton. First off to note, like I have this on my website and I also have a playlist with all the DPS tests I do so you can go check them out, I put the link into the description. Now keep in mind, I don't really have the best in slot setup, so basically I run 5 pieces Twice Fang Serpent then five pieces vicious serpent with two croc now i only have a light and a heavy monster set better would be if you had two medium and on top of that i only have swords of vicious serpent so basically swords versus daggers daggers are always better because now i kind of lose 10 percent crit and i only gain five percent overall damage 10 percent crit is way better and on top of that i also like i lose another I think 6%, something like that, because I don't have 7 medium. I know it will be hard to get wish serpent set, set swords or weapons, daggers, whatever. So what you can do, like you will actually probably get a little bit more damage if you do this. Instead of vicious serpent, you want to use hunting's rage. So you want to go 5 twice fang serpent with 5 hunting's rage, then you can do daggers, you can craft them, you don't need to farm 2 years to get the, those weapons. That's something I really recommend, and once again, like we will see when Morrowind goes live, I'm probably going to do a heavy attack setup anyway. That's it about the gear, in terms of skill allocation, it's basically the same, like I just swapped some stuff to the front bar, because you need to know one thing. Dual wield heavy attacks are a lot faster than any other weapon's heavy attack. Like literally twice as fast. I don't know why, but it's like this. And that's why heavy like dual wield heavy attack builds actually work pretty well on stamina setups. First off, they feel really fast because the weaving is still quite fast and yeah, it doesn't feel slow like with a shock stuff or uh, or something else. That's why I changed some of the skills, I also have Flames of Oblivion again. And on the back bar the same thing. Just make sure, because you have Flames of the Oblivion on the front bar, you also need something to have it on the back bar, otherwise you will lose the crit, because it's kinda buggy. When you only have it on one side. Now, sometimes, like, I don't really have a specific rotation yet. Basically, all we do is we do heavy attacks on the front bar and reapply our dots. Like no heavy attack, noxious press, he heavy attack, venomous claw, heavy attack, rending slashes, and so on. And then weapon swap, reapply those dots with bow light attacks. And then start again with the heavy attacks. This should kind of... I will try to write down a rotation on the website. So it should give you kind of a, into a... It should help you to get into a direction. But sometimes like... So certain buffs don't drop off. Or like debuffs on the enemy... Sometimes, maybe instead of always doing a heavy attack, maybe you do Noxious Breath, heavy attack, Venomous Claw, then Rending Slashes, Flames of Oblivion, heavy attack, Rearming Trap, Weapon Swap. So sometimes you can skip a heavy attack or two, to not lose too much uptime on buffs. Though that's only possible if you really have a dot tracker, but with Morrowind everybody will have access to a dot tracker, so we will see how this will work out. Anyway, let's start with the DPS test.
Now when we look at the screen, first off you have seen like dual wield heavy attacks are so much faster than any other weapon type. It's insane and nobody knows why. Anyway, let's take a look. So you also have to see I'm using swords. So if I had daggers, I would get better DPS. If I would be a Kashyyyk, I would even get more and I'm, I'm using a light and a heavy piece. So I miss a lot of crit, okay? Like maybe 10 to 15% crit I'm missing. I could get a lot more damage actually. So again, we have 65.4% weapon crit. Our actual crit rating in this fight is 57%. So it's like 8% difference. Again, Krog cannot crit because it's a proc set. So that's where we lose some. Then let's take a closer look. You see Endless Hail. It's basically about the same. Poison injection a lot higher. Insane. And our all, most of our hardest hitting abilities actually have a really nice crit. Even more actually than they should have. Then you see heavy attack. Like dual wield heavy attacks. Because you have two weapons they count twice, right? You see this is... 2555 and here with 3478 that's a lot of damage from dual wield heavy attacks and why is there so much because they're so fast and we don't really lose uptime on dots yes when we look at the maelstrom weapons we lose a lot of weapon damage but the heavy attacks kind of make up for that more or less then we have all other stuff it's just like the, if you have an ox, use an ox, right? It's really hard to get those weapons, like I said. So if you use, like, just use Hunting's Rage. Because because we heavy attack, it doesn't really matter that much. Because we don't really need Vicious Serpent for the sustain. I just here didn't have anything else, like I said. Major Fracture uptime, 92%. That's really, really high. Then we have the... Minor force is at 100%, Hawkeye only 42. So really, like, maybe we have to find a better rotation to get the Hawkeye up. Maybe we have to weapon swap, like, once more per rotation to keep this at, like, 80 to 90%. Because then our Endless Hail already does a lot of damage, but if we had this at 100%, maybe we'll get, like, 8k damage from from Endless Hail and another 1.5 from Poison Injection would be so much more damage, but the ro rotation would get more complicated. That's basically it. I mean, it's kind of... I will put the other one, the Maelstrom, in the description so you can compare those two. But I do think, like, the def damage difference is really small on the target skeleton. Like I said, I'm in a raid situation, Maelstrom setups, That this is my personal personal op opinion like still give you like four or five k more dps but again the difference is so small especially because you have access to abilities like molten armaments and all that kind of stuff i also want to compare this on the pts because it's probably gonna be we're gonna end up with a heavy attack build next patch anyway and there's some really cool stuff coming for the stamina dk till then Thank you for watching and see you soon. Cheers.